we continue on with the story. Uh, last time around. So this is her. She really is. Yeah, we managed to find a girl who was like in the engine room. I just don't know anymore. What am I supposed to do? What do I want so... to do? I can't take this anymore. Someone, please stop me. She 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 seemed. Kai seems to have known this. So does um. Does it mean there was something? Uh, I mean not Kai, Lena. So does it mean that Lena and Kai knew about this and they were trying to do something? I don't know what's going on. Oh, Kai! I didn't know you were in here. How does she look? Has she woken up at all? N no. I'd better go. I've got something I need to do. What, betray us some more? Seriously, is she okay? She seems really out of it. I'm back, Kai. Thanks for keeping an eye on... Sergio. Well, this is quite a crowd. Are you all here to visit the Sleeping Beauty? Doctor, has she not woken up yet? I'm afraid she's been unconscious since you brought her in. No signs of injury or atrophy, though. She looks fairly young. She might be exhausted simply from the stress of stowing away on a military ship. I recommend we let her rest for a little while longer. A stowaway, huh? I wonder if she's one of the civilians we had on board. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I counted on myself. 21 on and 21 off. You think she's been here all by herself ever since we dropped off those refugees? I don't know. We'll have to ask her when she wakes up. Whatever the case, we have no idea why she's on board. The captain will have to talk to her. Or interrogate her. Interrogation? She's a little girl! We don't have a choice. We know someone leaked our cruiser's route to the enemy. You think this girl's an Imperial spy? You're joking. Yeah, that's a little far-fetched for us to even believe. Not to worry. I'll look after her during the questioning. I won't let her come to any harm. <sighs> if you say so, Doctor. By the way, it feels like we haven't been picking up speed. How are the engines doing? Not good. The main reactor has completely shut down. How's the first thing we go to saying is it's the little girl that's leaking our, our info instead of the whole squad of people that are on the this. The Navy guys are all doom and gloom too. On the ship. Talking about how the mission's gonna be impossible like this. Bunch of wusses. Don't be so hard on them. They know the ship and its limits better than you do after all. To be quite honest, I feel the same way. At this rate, I highly doubt we can complete the mission as planned. You too, Doc? <sighs> Took it pretty hard, uh, beating on us. Surprised we managed to get out of there. Uh, ocean base. We're out of the crevasse. The Centurions set a new course for our destination, but our main reactors are still disabled. The ship can barely maintain a third of its maximum speed. The Sea Fortress is in our way too. We're closing in. An Imperial base on the Crystal Sea with unbreakable fortifications. Countless artillery this is gonna be like near to impossible. Captain Morgan knows the risks. Nevertheless, he set a course for the fort instead of bypassing it. No one on board can say for sure whether the Centurion will make it past its so-called unbreakable defenses. And even if we do, will we have enough left in us to make it to the capital? I can tell everyone's thinking the same thing. That's the thing. question. That's... This is our last chance yeah, to this turn is back. It. We're hitting that, uh... That just push everything we have point. 
We can't keep this up much longer. How can we get through when we're moving at a crawl? <laughs> Look at him now. They sure talked a big game back when we just set off, huh? I think the doctor had a point, though. They have a far better grasp of naval warfare and the ship's capabilities than we do. They probably know better than anyone how risky it is to launch an attack like this. Come on, don't tell me you guys are backing down too. We didn't lose that many people and go through all that crap just to quit now, right? We did it so we can wipe out those imp bastards. You know that, right? Yeah, but uh, you're thinking of things a little too, too straightforward, Raz. All right, man, this is... Raz, to tell you the truth, I agree with the doctor. What? This isn't just risky. It might be impossible. I even spoke out against the captain's decision to keep going. But... I've already made up my mind. I've decided to fight to the very end. For the Centurion and everyone on it. I won't let them sink this ship. We're going to reach the capital. We will make Operation Cygnus a success. We've sacrificed too many friends to give up now. That's good enough for me! We got this, Claude! Still, there's no denying the situation has the crew uneasy. With morale this low, it'll be hard to fight as a team. Who cares about those spineless Navy jellyfish? We're Rangers, and we... No, we can't do this alone. We're in the middle of the Crystal Sea. If we want this to work, we're gonna need their skills. We have to unite as one. Otherwise, we'll never make it across the ice. Unite, huh? So what's your plan? We might just have to go around one by one and try to lift their spirits ourselves. We want to take down the Empire. That's true for all of us. God, this is gonna be a real pain <laughs> in the ass. Oh well, not like I've got anything better to do. I I'll talk to the female soldiers then. I can probably relate to them better than you guys. Yeah, let's do it. Raise some morale. Bring everybody back on uh, course of the land. Bring everyone back on to uh, the same path. To reach the Imperial capital, we'll have to find some way past the fort with minimal losses. That means it's more important than ever to be prepared. About that, Captain. I'm sorry to report that the crew's starting to get uneasy. As it stands, trying to push past the Sea Fortress would be incredibly reckless. Even then, we might not be able to take the capital. Some think we should retreat while we still can. It's just rumblings for now. But if morale dips any lower, mutiny may not be far off. I can certainly understand that position. This must look dire indeed to the rank and file. But loose lips sink ships. Agreed, sir. I heard an interesting piece of information myself, you know. And what would that be, sir? A small group has been lifting spirits the <laughs> Us. attempting to convince the dissidents one by one. Who would attempt? I'm sure you can guess. It's Squad E. We gotta do what we can, man. I propose we give Mr. Claude Wallace a chance to find a satisfactory resolution. Leave the heavy lifting to those who are young and on their first pair of legs. As for an old sailor like me... You just figure out how to get us past that fort, man. I... Wait and see. Edge of Earth and Water. Kraz, Riley. Oh, hey, Claude. How'd it go? Not great. Everyone's fear is getting the best of them. So what if we have to go hungry for a while? 
We've eaten grass, frogs. We can manage, can't we? It's a different mindset here. We can adapt on land, but out at sea, our fate is tied to the ships. I don't think that's gonna help convince them. Well, fine. If those chump buckets don't like it, they can take a long walk off a short plank. Losing manpower would hurt our chances even more. I know that, damn it! But everyone here wants to take down the Empire. We're united by that much, right? What the hell? Why aren't they listening to us? Oh, hey, where's Kai? I asked if she wanted to help, but she seemed really, I don't know, distracted. Well, you better go find her before she, like, tells them that we're all gonna, uh, we're all, like, losing our minds or something. She said something about having to do rifle maintenance and to go on without her. Damn it! We're trying to convince hundreds of people here. She may be cranky, but we could use the help. She's been acting really weird lately. Kai's probably dealing with her own issues. Whatever is going on with her, we still have work to do. Come on, Raz. <sighs> yeah, all right. I'm coming. <sighs> what can we do? Damn you, Claude. Don't be still getting all mad at, mad at me, Minerva. I'm trying, all right? Actions speak louder. I thought you were up to one of your usual schemes. Given up already? M Minerva! I haven't given up. It's just... I don't know what to say to the others. I feel like I have to say something to bring us together and raise morale, but... I can't find the right words. <laughs> if you can't do the job, I could take your place. Maybe that would be for the best. No. <laughs> you know she's just... <laughs> she, she... She didn't want you to say that, Claude. You absolute Exactly! Imbecile. You promised her, and you... It hit him. There you go. The right words? I thought you had a spine, but I suppose I've overestimated you again. Oh, God. You think a motivational speech will win this war? I didn't pass up a promotion for you to just talk. You're here now because of your intelligence, your wit. No matter what you faced, you found a way through. You led your squad through each and every victory. You already have what it takes to get this crew to fight for you. And it damn well isn't your way with words. Minerva. You have one thing I don't. You didn't lead your friends to their deaths. I will not tolerate failure. If you want to prove yourself, do it through action, not words. Action. Right. You're exactly right. Yeah, you just prove me. Come on. We got this. Thank you, Minerva. I feel like some kind of fog is lifted in my mind. I suppose you just needed a good impact to knock it loose. <laughs> Wait. Fog. That's it. Fog. Why didn't I think of this sooner? Pardon? What do we? What's he got in mind? <laughs> Thank you, Minerva. I wouldn't have figured it out without you. Oh yeah. Excuse me. I have Smack to see the captain. Smack a couple more times, Minerva. You, you really knocked the, the gears well, loose. Whatever's gotten him so worked up. At least he's come to a decision. <laughs> Honestly, he really is. <laughs> but you <impossible>. love me. <laughs> ah, Minerva. I'm really digging Minerva even more now as well. Right.
Reckless bravery. What the hell's going on? What's with the assembly? Psh, what do you think? The army boy with a stick up his ass, here to give a big, inspiring speech. Hey, Kai! What you doing over there? Planning on how to betray <sighs> us again, Kai? Is that, is that what you're doing over there? Hey, seriously, what's going on? Everyone, I apologize for how sudden this is. I'd like to propose a new plan to get past the Sea Fortress. Just hear me out. The core of their defenses is their high-powered artillery. We'll have to neutralize that first. The plan is to use air balloons to drop troops in from above and seize control of the emplacements. At the same time, the Centurion will make a frontal assault and charge directly toward the fortress. What? Soon, a dense fog is going to cover the entire fort. That'll be our chance to infiltrate it. The wind should be steady enough for balloons, even in the fog. Visibility won't be good, but we can land on target. I've already received the captain's approval. We just have to get ready. When the time comes... Wait, the captain actually approved this? Oh, wow. Yes, he did. It's, it's essentially suicide for the Centurion, right? Are you insane, Claude? How could you think this is a good idea? How could the captain sign off on it? You want to drop us into a fort? We're barely equipped! How can we take out the artillery like this? We won't even have a secure escape route. And you're just going to send the ship charging forward? A head-on firefight won't do us any good. Even if we win, it'll be a Pyrrhic victory. The losses would be too much. We'd have no chance of taking the capital. My plan's the most realistic option we have. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Grass? I was just thinking I wanted to let off some steam. Been cooped up in this goddamn ship for too long anyway. They're so proud of their heavy artillery, huh? I want to see their faces when I break it in half! But... Those of you willing to fight, come with me. I'll explain the op in more detail. Count me in! If we turn back now, we'll be the laughing stock of the Federation. Damn right! The Centurion can make it through anything! Alright, then let's do this. Hmm. Nice assist there, <laughs> Raz. Huh. <laughs> well, it was enough to get a compliment out of you. The fog descends. All right, mission time. Here we go. This is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting. Oh. So that's the marine base we're going after. The fog hasn't rolled in yet, but shouldn't be long now. Oh, look! From the north. Wind talk comes through for us again. Okay, everyone ready? Wait! Claude! Miles! Are you really going through with this? This... Are you that scared of death? I'm a soldier, Claude. I'm not afraid to die if I have to. I am. Huh? I'm scared. Not just for myself. I'm always afraid that my friends are gonna get hurt or killed. Then why are you... Because I'm not alone. Ugh. I'd be too afraid to do it alone. But if I've got everyone behind me, I know we can do it. Hell yeah. He knows. We can win this together as the thing. 
You can be afraid as much as you want, but you just know together we won't fail. Reminding myself that we're all in this together gives me the strength to do the impossible. Isn't that how we made it through all our battles? Claude. Time to go. that I can survive. We have our next mission. Your target is Fort Garsbrook's artillery. Captain Wallace, you'll be leading the drop team and via hot air balloon. You won't be at liberty to set up camps so and choose your teammates judiciously. So just you take Lancers with you, they'll make short work of the cannons. Meanwhile, the Centaurian will continue advancing at a steady pace. That's why it's vital you destroy their artillery before the Centaurian is in range. Once that's done, the drop team will have to escape the fort as quickly as possible. We'll send in an extraction team to help. Lieutenant Victor will lead the extraction team, so she cannot join the drop team. Okay. All right, so let's grab two Lancers then. Uh, we're gonna get Jean. Let's rough Ready. them up. Ready anytime. And then I want. Um, I want to take Zyga. Here so I bad, go. Bro. Let's go. We realize how this dangerous this mission will pays be. Off. So I wish you and your squad the best of luck. Take out the cannons before they can open fire on the Centurion. Let's go. All right. Looks like a safe landing. Is everyone okay? Ah, damn it. I think I broke my How'd you ass. Break your ass. You got a lot more spread out than we planned. Probably thanks to the fog. Not what I'd call a running start. Well, this was our first para drop in actual combat. I figured it wouldn't go perfectly. But we can use this to our advantage. We can act as decoys for each other and confuse the enemy. Head to the artillery and pick your route uh, carefully. This is gonna suck. Okay. This fog really is dense. If I move carefully, I might be able to sneak Let's in go. closer. Heavy fog. So the vision is limited. You just have to stay hidden, but be careful. That's we outnumbered. Two turns left. Ooh, we got, wow, we really got spread pretty far out. Leave it to me! I'm gonna break you! Your brawny, Gene. I love Gene. Oh, of course it's on the side. Damn it, I thought it was. Mm. That's fine. I can actually, I can get Gene to get this though. Leave it to me. Go, 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 Hit this fortress cannon. Okay, let's go for another shot. Leave it to me. It's one down. Nope, not good enough. Ah, leave me alone. Not even a scratch. Women hear me roar. Ow. Jesus, how do we get down? Never leave your Becky, that's a promise. Right, we're gonna have to work out how to get around.
Alright, let's I get Ryan to take this point. Hopefully. That's the plan at least. <laughs> Come on! Grenade out. Grenadier got put like on this back area, which is like the worst thing possible for her spot. If I'm honest, um, I'll push I can do this. claw around. Dude. There you go. There. There's another guy, like, on that side ridge that I want to go for if I can. I actually wonder if I can just use Rams. I got this. <laughs> this guy's like up on the ridge there. Now advancing. Alright, alright. Just end that turn. I'll have to get him next turn. Troops have infiltrated the fort, sir. Impossible. How did they get in? Uh oh. They know we're here. Watch out for enemy counterattacks. Keep I'm moving to the artillery. This is, this is not gonna be easy. Uh, this. Uh, request a reinforcement. Sorry, right. we gotta take that base. Uh, come next turn. Shoot him. Fog is really annoying. Dodges, I got. No, okay. You're good, you're good. Get him. Got him down. Claude is about to take the brunt first of a force of a lot of people coming toward me. 
I need to get a, uh, a gunner with him badly. This is just a, a scout on that bridge. It's not gonna. Okay, let's go. All right, Brittany. Okay, let's go. I feel Watch so empowered. Cross the bridge. We have to push you on. from their, their troop. Come on, really? I can do this! Gotcha! Well, I'm out of cover. attack Wind. I see got you got you my boy all right Claude take the space yes the space is ours To like go against over there. I'm just freaking out a little bit. Okay, let's go. Doing fine. Send the turn here, I think. No, you know what? Actually, I need to heal Cog a little bit. I can do this! Push him a little bit more. Take a Ragnade. Artillery. Okay. Silence, sir. <laughs> we passed the first checkpoint yeah. right on time. Oh, they managed got one to down. pull it off. All that's left is the last gate. Captain Wallace. I'm trying. All right. Come. I'm gonna hopefully get there in time. I hope. No reinforcements for the bastards. Squad converging on Raz. Raz is gonna, Raz ain't dying. I'm gonna take every single one of them out. Get him! Get him, Raz! Nah! Come on! Just keep keep him coming. Keep him coming. Raz can take it all. Oh, coming toward us. Okay. Good I don't think You're so. good. Shoot him a couple times. Any type of little damage helps. Next turn, our machine gunners are gonna come out of that flag and... Yes. Okay. 
So Raz got his back up. And Claude has his. Three turns left. Okay. We gotta get there within the next three turns. I'm trying. Time to make some money. My heart is here. Grenadier is like up on this, up on this uh, tower, being annoying. I am woman, hear me roar. Make the choices. I'm just gonna use all the turns on her at this point. I am woman, hear me roar. See how far we can push her, essentially. Hear me roar. Make the choices. Not two very nasty tanks. Women, right hear there. me roar. They're gonna do some nasty, nasty damage to us. Okay, let's all go. All we gotta do is survive it this next turn, and I should be able to hopefully push her all the way up there, far enough with enough turns to okay, get her. Okay, let's go. To finish that thing off. Ugh, men. Done with men. So she's really against men. Okay. And the turn. Look at these tanks. I don't think so. Turns on, on the stupid tanks. This sucks because the grenadiers can still hit, basically knock Fight. them out. I 
Yes, keep using them, please. Please, use them for two more turns. Come on. Oh my god, guys. You really are going for power right now, right? It's not. I was about to say. All right. Okay, let's That's go. fine then. Claude, Claude did his job. Get Claude Back. out of here. This is, this is why he's best with We're his tank. We're getting you out. Wake and up, you're, sleepy you're head. You got this, Brittany. You got this. You got this. You can see the tank fire. Way too OP. All right. Finish this thing off. Avenge Claude. Women hear me roar. Let's go. Well, you don't like men, so you wouldn't avenge Claude, but whatever. Let's take it down. One more shot. That sucks, though. This is gonna give me a B for sure. Cause we lost one. Okay, let's go. Yo. Yo. Don't play with me, Brittany. <laughs> you, you missed that shot from this point blank range. That should have been a one hit kill. Women for hear me roar. Shoot it. I'll break it. Thank you. Enemy artillery shows no signs of firing, sir. We've passed through the Sea Fortress successfully. We've done it! Claude, you've done it! You've done a fine job, Mr. Wallace. Just as I knew you would. Alright, we have to escape now. We meet up with the nervous team. It's our turn now. Storm the fortress and rescue the infiltration team! You're all insane. This whole operation is insane. The only reason the infiltration worked was because we got lucky. If you'd rather hide here and tell yourself that, you're welcome to stay. <gasps> but whatever your choice, make it one you won't regret. Exactly. There's only one question you need to ask yourself. Decide what's important to you and make it quick. Stop being stupid, Miles. Our reinforcements should be joining the fight. They'll cover us while we escape. Let's move! Every fog is clear. Oh, but Claude's dead! <laughs> Wait, what? what? D he's back then, right? Okay. I was about to say! Okay, reinforcement squad is all back here. Um... My turn. I will protect my commander! I spotted the enemy! I'm trying to take this thing out. See if the glory has enough firepower to shoot turn. this damn thing down. Go for it. There you go. Ow! Where's the other one? If I can get the most part back, ah! all right, we gotta get them over here. Um, time to go. Battlefield is where I belong. Well. You're gonna love being here. Oh my head. Stupid grenadiers, man. Damn it! Stupid grenadiers. Literally stupid grenadiers. Bouncing me around. Get this fool 
out of cover. Understood. Oh, and I see where this grenadier is. Ooh, you're gonna get screwed. You're gonna get so screwed, my boy. Let's go. Got him. You, you, what are you doing? What are you doing, friend? Down in this little crevasse. <laughs> Understood. I don't like you. Go to sleep. Die. Who's next? Alright, we gotta get Claude over to that side. It's mango. That's what I have to accomplish. So. Commencing attack! Let's push him. Take another one. Okay. Where's the other ladder? Are, are they really forcing us to? Do it? To go over. So we're being forced to go to climb up this ladder and then climb down this one and then make our way around. That's some BS type stuff there. Commencing attack. Okay. Take down that sniper if I can. Enemy sighted. A lot of enemy sighted club. A lot of enemies. Oof! Don't, don't sit too close to that edge. For sure. Oh God! No. Guys got first. I'm almost in the clear as far as this side goes. Um, Moving out. Minerva. Trying to take a guy down. Let's break two. through their line. Yeah. Federation officer. I Surprise attack. display of skill. So these guys got in store. Close one. We're good. We, we've taken sniper shots. Sniper ain't gonna do us too much damage. I can 
do this. Oh my god, I hate troopers got so much. All right. End the turn before you get gunned down. Get the other guy. I can do this. I will see this through. On to the next. This tank is standing in the way of me and my freedom. My turn. I'm hoping. Follow. Maybe. Possibly hit me. Because it's going to take too long to get a Lancer over here. Um, and I could summon a Lancer. Which actually might be the better option at the moment, but it's fine. Um, My turn. behind Claude, so that kind of got me slightly worried, but I don't think they're going to make it in time. He got this. Okay. Damn it! Don't, no, don't shoot. Can't no, run! We're not, not going to hit him. Just, just chill. Be on the defensive. And your turns, guys. Close one! Ooh. Waste him. Claude's going to run right by that tank and have a good old time. Damn it! Damn it! You're good. Alright, let's go. Doing fine. Not dying here. Uh, Enemy spotted. Take him out. You're not taking me out. You're not taking me out. You're not taking me out. Not happening. Peace. See you. Wouldn't want to be you. Let's go. Oh. 
Commencing attack. Get me far away from this place. Done. We should be safe at this range. Hey, where's Claude? Huh? Over there! Claude, you all right? I'll hold them off. You guys get back to the Centurion. Uh -oh. What the hell is that idiot thinking? Hold on, I'm coming! Raz, no! They've got snipers! They'll shoot you down before you even get here! This what can't be happening. Oh, God. We made it this far. What can we do? Miles. I'll handle this! You finally gonna help us out, Miles? <laughs> yeah! It's the Hoffman! <laughs> Hoffman to the rescue. Come on, Claude! In, quick! Right! Thanks, Miles. Finally stepping up, Miles. So I'm being a little pansy. I have to apologize, Claude. For what? I couldn't make a decision until it was almost too late. Until Lieutenant Victor called me out. Until she asked me what was most important to me. I hadn't even thought about it before. Don't worry about it. What matters is you're here. It sounds like you figured things out. Yes. I'm going to see this operation through to the end. I want to be there when we end this. Together. But I want to fight to the finish. I want to feel that pride. Of course. We're gonna win this, Miles. Together. Heck yeah. Season firing calculator. Is that what that said? Headquarters has decorated. Nice. Your perf triumphant return. Who did it? Who really did it? Three cheers for the hero of the Centuria! <laughs> wow, this hey. is a little much. I deserve it. You are the one who came up with the plan, and you're the one who led us to victory. I think you've earned a little pride, <laughs> don't you? I don't know. No, you're right. I fought to make this mission a success. That is something to be proud of. Victory is a fine thing, but this win feels a little more significant than usual, wouldn't you say? Claude's precise tactics, the captain's dauntless command, it all meshed together perfectly. I'm sure everyone on the ship is sharing in this victory. In light of this achievement, even I can't deny his ability. I try my best. <sighs> even in the light of this freaking traitor. Kai. Soldier's pride. Claude, the celebration's going to go all night if you don't give them some kind of speech. Me? You gave one just before the mission, didn't you? Surely you can bookend this with another. Fine. <laughs> He's like, come on, man, I gotta talk, I gotta say speeches now all the time. Like, can, can we do something a little different? Can I take a break for a second? Everyone, I'd like to say something. I'm gonna be honest with you all. Even I wasn't sure we could make this. I wondered if we should head back. This ship will keep moving forward, but when we look to the future, death stares back at us. We carry on, knowing that we may lose our friends. We may lose our own lives. It's terrifying. Sometimes I want to run away from it all, turn this ship around. But, but that's not why we're here. We're here to move forward, to protect families back home, and to carry on the will of our fallen comrades. The captain made a decision, and I believed in him. 
That's all I can ask of you. To believe in his choices and mine. All we can do is work and fight to the best of our abilities. To see that decision to its conclusion, every soldier on this ship has to stick together, stay strong, and strive toward our goals. <laughs> Look at Rags like <laughs> someone has to fight this fight. If we don't take on that burden ourselves, this war will never end. Our children, lovers, friends, sooner or later, the war will find them. They will. Until a hero rises to finish the fight, these tragedies will keep happening. We all know that by now. Every one of us can be that hero. We can seize victory with our own hands and end the war once and for all. To honor those heroes who have already fallen in battle. To make sure tomorrow's heroes aren't taken from us today. Let's win this and come home with our heads held high, with more honor than any medal can give. Let them tell us that this mission is impossible. We're still going to finish it. We choose yeah, victory. Yeah. Yeah. What's the matter now? Scaredy Claude making a comeback? No, <laughs> it's not. You know what to do, Miles. Of course. Good Camera's player. all set. All right, boys and girls, gather round. Who wants a picture with the future hero? <laughs> Wait, everyone, please calm down. <laughs> Kai's gone. Kai? <sighs> the guilt is eating her up, man. Kai. She knows. She does dirty. All right, I think I think I'll, I'll stop here and then pick it up on the next part.